All right, so your weekly slash bi-weekly, depending on how many homes you have, maybe about every like five-ish homes, please check your vacuums and make sure they're maintained and ready to go for the next week. You will, this is what I've been doing and my mom has been doing for you guys every, <clears throat> every weekend just to make sure the vacuums are in good order every week. So you'll come down here, we'll take the brush roll off. The blue ones have the little clip on the bottom that you push and then it pops out. The orange ones have these little clips at the top that you slide back and bring it off. You will take off the brush roll, take out all of this stuff, and I would love you guys to do I'd love you guys to do this every single time you leave a very hairy dog house. Take all that stuff out of there. Cause sometimes it gets, I'm sure some of you used to before, but it gets very coated a lot, like five times more dog hair than this. So of course it's gonna make vacuuming harder if you're not cleaning this stuff out. Okay, so this is what you need to do every time you leave a dog house or about every five ish days or so. And then you will also check down here. Take off anything that is stuck down there. Okay, that one's pretty good. And then the blue bases do have, as you guys know, the little twisty things right here or the pinchy things that you can open down here and take out anything that's stuck down there. Um, the orange ones, you just look in there and grab things out if you need to. Next, you will take off the canister. It would be a good routine every few days to take the dirty Swiffer and just Swiff it around, get a bunch of the dirt out. Um, and then when it gets looking really bad, you can give it a bath in the sink or the shower and just rinse out all the dirt. Open it up completely and let it air dry for about 24 hours. About every five days or so you wanna take out this, take it outside and just hit it against a rock and you'll see all the dust coming off. If this thing ever gets too coated with dust and dirt, it will prevent your vacuum from working well. And sometimes, as some of you have seen, it will prevent it from working, period. So always make sure this is never too coated with dirt and stuff. I'll take it out in a moment and just hit it against a rock or something to get all the dirt out. There's this foam in here, or a foam thing in here too. About every couple months, I will be buying you guys new filters to replace them. And you can just toss the old ones you should never really have to clean or wash or anything, do anything with that one. So that is it, that's your maintenance. Um, if your vacuum ever gets really bad, let me know. We can take it, swap you out with a different one and then maintain this one so that it is in good order for someone else. Of course, if you ever have a, something not working right, let me know with ASAP. We'll pray with the backup one, take the other one and troubleshoot it or replace the part that needs to be replaced. If you have any questions while on the job or after checking out this video about anything, make sure you ask me because it's better to know, of course, than to not know and to guess.